At this point I have the bathtub out of the box and in the bathroom and I'm getting the plumbing ready for it. So as you can, if I can back up here a little bit, um, you can see I've got the hole cut out in the cement and you can see my previous video for how to get to this point. So here with the hole, um, all of this area in here is just extra that I didn't realize that we needed. I thought the uh, there's a pipe going this way, but anyway, all I really need is, is this area right here. So this pipe right here is the one I'm going to actually tie the bathtub drain into, both the overflow and the main drain. Um, I'm going to cut a little section off right about there, and to figure out where to cut that, I went ahead and got my fittings and everything ready on here. Let's see if I can get a better, better light. There we go. So um, this is a typical kit that comes with, uh, or not that comes with a bathtub, but that you can buy at Home Depot for a bathtub. Uh, this one that I got wasn't long enough, so I actually had to buy or uh, extend that main piece that you're looking at right there. And that's easy enough to do. Um, now I've got a P-trap on there as well, and then an inch and a half to two inch conversion piece. And so I'm going to go ahead and, so I went ahead and measured, let me show you this. I measured from, from the wall. Uh, back here to the bottom of this, uh, or where this pipe comes out right here. So let me back up a little bit. And that ended up being, in my case, 21 and a half inches. So that's how I know that I'm going to need to come over um, on my cutout here. On this section here, I'm going to need to come over um, 21 and a half inches from, from the wall back here over to here. And I need to actually go a little bit more than that so that I have enough room for a coupler to go on there. And that's my next step. Okay, so now I've taken the piece that was attached to the tub and put it actually in place. I sawed off the, uh, the pipe right there at the 21 and a half inches so I know I've got my distance away from the, raw, the wall measured accurately. And what I've, what I've discovered here is that the drain is sitting quite a bit lower um, than it needs to be so I'm going to have to put a, an extension right there to raise that whole piece up because I've just got a small little um, connector piece in there and I've got plenty of pipes so I'll cut this. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, all of this that you see here is just put in place loosely. There is no uh, blue glue on there or anything like that. It's just sit, you know, pressure fit tightness in there. So. I can make these adjustments and get everything ready before I actually glue anything up or get it in place. So now I'm going to go ahead and extend that, but now that I see my fit, and then I'll lay the tub on it and take a look and see how good of a fit we have, make any adjustments that are necessary. Okay, so now I've extended the tube and gotten the closer fit here, and so I've put the tub in place, and as you can see here, you can probably barely see this, but there is, um, there we go, you can see down in there. I'm close, but I need to come up a little more still, and it probably wouldn't hurt to come uh, out away from the wall just a smidge. And then over on the overflow here, uh, same thing, and this is all loose again right now, so it's not glued in place or anything, but uh, this one's really close, but again, it looks like it needs to go up another half inch or so. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut another piece, extend it out a little bit, and we'll test it again. Okay, so third time's a charm. I got the pipe cut long enough and just for kicks I went ahead and put in the actual fittings that are going to be uh, used when this is done just to make sure everything lines up as it should everything looks good so now my next step is just to remove the bathtub uh, after I take these fittings off and then actually glue all the pipes in place as they are and then I'll be able to set the bathtub in place properly putting the screws along the studs and uh, gluing down the bottom and everything. Every tub is a little bit different, but that's the way this, this tub is set up to work. Alright, so now that I've got my piece uh, all put together and everything as far as positioning, I've uh, started to glue it together with the hot blue glue. Um, so I've already glued these sections here, and just to show you what I'm doing, I've, I've made lines here so that I make sure I get the angles correct because I don't want to try to guess where it is I need to twist this into place. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one apart. I've got a line here and here and pencil. I'm going to take this thing off. Gloves don't help with grip. Okay. This stuff is super messy if you've used it before, so it's a good idea to wear something 
Um, just going to get a swab of it. And if you get a good swab on one piece, you don't really need it on both. There's usually quite a bit on here. You do want to make sure, though, that you get that you turn it at least halfway, at least 180 degree, degrees, if not more. So I'm going to just start twisting it as I go in. I'm going to get it to where my line that I've made. Again, gloves aren't helping. There we go. Lines up just like that. So I've got a good secure grip in there. And I'm just going to keep doing that throughout all my other pieces. Okay, so finally this is what the finished plumbing looks like. And I've got it attached to the main drain. And I've just got to go ahead and put the uh, the tub over top of it and before I actually finish the tub I've got some work over here to do I don't know what the builders of this house were thinking but this uh, drain right there is actually supposed to be facing the other direction and coming over here for the sink so I'll get that done but uh, nice to have the tub plumbed and ready to go